We are at Riverside Center Antique Mall. I've been here a few times. I like furniture here. And it's different booths. Um, each person has their own little space, just like you would at a, any other antique mall. But they have an indoor and an outdoor spaces. Let's find some stuff we can talk about. There's, you know, just like any antique mall, there's new and used. And of course, can't go anywhere without finding some rooster stuff, chicken stuff. Say hi, Larry. <laughs> You're a dork. I love you. <laughs> Look at that. Not sure if that's its original stop or it doesn't look like it, but that is a, I like the color. It goes, you probably can't see it on him, but it's like a yellow and goes into like a brown. I've sold one of these before. It looks like a, a made in China piece, but they, with the, sometimes you may not know it, but they glow under UV light because of the, what they shoot up in here has uranium in it to make it look more of like a, a jellyfish floating around. This lamp right here is made of chalkware and it probably weighs like a million pounds. You can see it here that it's chipped and it shows the white. We'll show you that it's chalkware. It's extremely heavy. But it's really cool. Not something you would have seen probably in the 70s, 70s in someone's house. The black box. Oh, I like this. Probably an old sugar bowl. It says patent pending. Chicken on a nuts. Sugar bowl. This is a wedding box. Usually the wedding boxes, you can see them, they're hand painted and occasionally they're uh, flash glass. Um, my brother probably could tell you what kind of fish that is. What kind of fish is it, Larry? Let's see what they have it as. I don't know. They didn't label it as what type of fish it is. I like that 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 chicken um, sugar bowl over there. This is Sweeney glass pottery. I call it a glass, and it's actually pottery. A what? A pike fish? Never heard of that before. But. Also, not a fisherman, so that could be why. <laughs> Gotta keep talking because there's music back there. You hear it playing? Hopefully, between the cars and me talking, they won't really hear it. Jiffy on it, but that is 
Slow Blue it comes in multiple different patterns. <clears throat> it's got a chip on it though. Look, it's just like our our rooster that we just got. Very primitive looking. It's made of wood. Look, there's another one. His head's been glued back on. Maybe not. Maybe it's just a crack. Alright, we're going to go into the other building. I'll turn you back on when we get there. For our driveway, so people think they have to come to a dead stop coming around that bin. City will get mad at us, but we'll just take it down and put it back up when they ain't looking. Oh my god! Look at the cat! Oh, it's a salt and pepper shaker! Made by Nesco. I've never seen that before. It's so cute! <laughs> oh. It's got a chip on his ear though, but I love it. Look, it's the Energizer Bunny. This girl looks like she's scratching her butt. <laughs> Did you hear me? Yeah. I'm really <laughs> awesome. ah. spinach. You know you think I'm funny. No? Okay. This booth is 50% off, but not that I'm fancying. This is to make noodles, pasta noodles. Hopefully we don't get a copyright strike because of the music. So I think I'm going to turn you guys off and turn you back on when I find things just to prevent it. I really like this. The iridescence is, is really nice. And uh, the base color is blue. It would have been purple. I think I would have loved it a little bit more. Purple is not even my color. But I like it when it comes to uh, the, my brain's not working, I think I need some more coffee. Uh, so this was sitting on that bottom shelf. I'm like, oh, that bird's pretty. Pull it out, guess what? It's a rooster, guys. So my husband and I were just standing here and I said, do you know what this is? And he says, no. I said, it's a liquor, liquor decanter. You put your ice here so it doesn't melt in your liquor and it makes it cold. It doesn't look like it's supposed to have a stopper because it's not ground on the inside. It's very pretty though. And even if you didn't want to use it for that, you can put it in a window seal and the light coming through the window would be stunning. No, that's cool. It's a fused piece of glass. It looks like there's a piece of bread sitting on it. I hate sitting things back down on, on glass shelves because I always, no matter how gentle I sit them, look at these weird monkeys. <laughs> are they monkeys or are they something else? Hmm. I don't know. There's some Navajo pottery up there. Pretty cool. Look at the weirdo little dog down here. He's made of metal, it looks like. Can you see him? They've got a lot of Indian stuff in this booth. I 
that shelf is stunning. I really like it. <sighs> we're gonna have to go to Starbucks when we're done here. These are candlesticks. Now these may glow under black light, but guess what? I didn't bring my black light with me. Again. This is really pretty. I don't really favor that color. It kind of probably looks pretty yellow for you guys, but it's like an amber brown. Cross between brown and yellow in person. But that's not really my favorite color of glass to put in the windows. Around the corner, and this is where I find him. Sitting in the booth. I don't think you're supposed to sit on the furniture. Oh, it does say test it out? Hmm. You're a storyteller. Look at they at. What do you want to bet? California pottery? Oh, no. Oh, no, it is California pottery. How did I know? They just have like a distinct, like the glaze is very distinguished. This is um, California pottery as well. These are very pretty. I've found some pretty cool stuff in this booth before. I've actually bought out of this booth before. For example, this cat cup is absolutely amazing. I don't know who makes it though. I think I'd like it a little more if it had like a cat head coming off of it. <laughs> Excuse me. Some booths um, have very tight spaces. So there's an estate sale that we're going to next week that has some stuff like this in it. And I am dying to go. Hope we can go next weekend. So I think this is Poland. I actually bought some of these last couple weeks ago, like shot glasses like this at the thrift store. Olin glasses over there. Enamel and copper bowls. Hopefully, I don't have to edit out a bunch of this because of the music. Because I don't want to keep just shutting you guys down. This is probably made in Portugal. No, made in China. Maybe that's that's a pattern you see a lot and stuff made in Portugal. But, you know, China does have quite a bit of manipulation of things that they're starting to make to, to make money, too, off of other people's designs, unfortunately. This is stunning. Mexican style vase. LP. I have it as listed as a vase, but I think that's a pitcher. I like it. I don't know if I could resell it with $18. It's more in like the ten dollar range we could resell, but like like I've said before at Anti Falls, it's more of like getting here and seeing the stuff so you can see what it feels like, what it looks like. And that gives you an idea that when you're in places that does have the things, you could buy them and resell them. It says Rain Blue Gallery, Georgia. Sounds like someone shut the music off. It was like they heard me say, hey, I won't be able to record if this has got music in it. Look at the Lucite lamp. We missed that when we walked past the first time. And there's the music again. <laughs> kind of started me a little bit because I thought it went off and then it came on really came on twice as loud yeah. it felt like <laughs> mm. 
Well, good luck. I hope you don't know. Thank you very much. But I shouldn't be knocking stuff for you. This thing is pretty cool looking. And there goes the music really loud again. So this is probably made in Poland too. Ooh, that was pretty lightweight actually. I'm wondering if that's flash painted. I don't know. I can't tell. Ooh. I hate sitting glass back on glass table. No matter how gentle I send it, I seem to still be too heavy handed. Oh, yeah. It's made of metal. Somebody made took a branch and cut it and used it as a coat tree. I'm going to have to talk really loud. Look how cute this cup is. And it's got a dog on the inside of it. <laughs> We're asking $10 for it, or $12 for it. So we just bought two of these at the flea market for $50. They're much bigger than this one. And this person's asking $35. These, if you see them and you can get them at a decent price, snatch them up. They are selling like hotcakes right now all over the place. And believe it or not, this is worth $35 because one slightly bigger than this in the same color are $50 to $60. But that I won't, your face won't be on the video. Oh, Look how stunning I, I, these are. So myself. when you have something that has like this goop like this, looks like someone used them for candle holders, but I would put like small bud flowers in them. Yeah. You can um, use uh, denture tablets and then we'll get down in there and clean it and bubble it and clean it all out. Oh, very nice. Uh, I'm not going to touch these plates because they're fairly valuable, but they're Mangelica. It's, I'll spell it for you when I post the video so that my crappy pronunciation doesn't screw you up when you're looking stuff up for it, but they're very valuable. They have them priced at $195 each and they have crazing on them. So that just goes to show you what they could be if they were in pristine condition. There's quite a few of them here. Um, but keep an eye out for that stuff because that can sell fairly well or well. Um, especially the more unique patterns like this. I think it's supposed to be asparagus. So this cat right here looks to be made in Sweden to me. Um, that's called Submerso. The style in which it was made, how it goes from like green to clear to blue and then kind of fades into each other and it'll look like a, a cross between a green and a blue, which I would consider like an aqua color. Look at all the pretty glass in here. So this is probably Blanco crackle glass. It's not March. Usually his stuff only has a sticker and then the newer items will have um, it be kind of etched. Um, this is a perfume bottle. And then see, here's Blanco with its sticker here. Um, see how it has no other markings, but some of his stuff like does have it's etched into the, into the glass, but most of it's got just, it's just stickers. Um, this is just like the vase we just got, Amberina. Um, bittersweet. Heard it called both. I don't know what that is, but it's pretty cool looking. I don't even know who makes it. Is it a vase? Holy smokes, it's heavy. Can't even lift it with one hand. It's very pretty, but holy moly, I would never ever ship anything like that. That would be way too expensive. This is a Roseville pottery. Um, you have to be careful because some Roseville, if you're, you're, you gotta make sure your S is curved like that, and sometimes the S even comes up underneath the O a little bit more because there's a lot of fake reproductions of Roseville pottery nowadays. And this right here, a lot of people think that that is worth a lot, and unfortunately, it is not. It is called Blendo, and it usually comes with glasses, and it comes in multiple different colors, and 
it's very fragile to ship and it's not highly valuable. I've been to this antique mall a few times and I'm actually madly in love with this vase. But having kids, I tend not to spend $300 on a vase for myself, but it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. It's actually signed on the bottom. It's really hard for me to see though without a magnifying glass. I don't do real well with etched skin signatures. This is Tanala pottery. They just have it as a folk art frog, but it's Tanala. Ken Edwards is the inventor of Tanala pottery. 